Welcome to Launcher Boats. My name is Hector. This is the Rovalo 160. This is a 2018 model powered with a 70 Yamaha on it. Um, this uh, is a model who was designed a few years ago. It is a boat that performs really well on a river, but don't make a mistake. Uh, I personally already tested bo this boat on uh, close shore and I even take it a few miles offshore, this boat performed really well. Uh, let's walk around and see a couple of nice options what this Robalo 160 is equipped with. Uh, on this Robalo 160, something what you guys want to notice is the fishability on it. This boat is really unbelievable on river or on shallow waters. I love the way how you can use the transom as a casting platform when you're fishing, you know, in a shallow water area. You easily walk around without worry about step over your cushions, but also don't make a mistake. It is it's just a really nice and friendly and family boat. So you can flip up the jump seats on the back and check this out. You can uh, you can use this uh, transom seats, uh, transom seat, and um, and uh, and enjoy a nice uh, cr uh, cruise day. Uh, also, something but uh, you you want to uh, notice in the Rovalo 160. Put this in your mind. This is a 16 footer, but check check how you are away from the gunnel. I mean, you not like right next to it. So it, it is a 16 footer, but it's still a deep boat. Uh, beautiful handrail right next to it. It's not a that cheap plastic handrail. It's true bolted. Uh, you have a nice row holders on uh, uh, on this one and either on each side and a starboard and port. Now, when I start this video, I talk about the Rovalo details and the way how they always put attention to put attention to build the boat on high quality and and, and um, uh, with always looking for late and latest in technology. Check this out. Um, for many others, probably will be cheap to just put a plastic cup holder. They mold it all the way around where the cup holders will be for the transom seats. Now, let me let me let me tell. Tell, show you something else. I, I'm pretty sure you guys already see those cushions fly on a highway, you know, and people lose them. They Rovalo attach those cushions with a double hinge. It's a stainless steel double hinge. Now check the materials that Rovalo is using on, on the cushions. They use a starboard, they don't use plywood, they use a high flow foam. So forget about that yellow foam, what over the time become mildew and stinky. Now, the Border Best Friend 5 gallon bucket. This is a great, great, great detail from Rovalo. Um, how I use it, I, uh, many customers they use for the casting net. I prefer to use this bucket for uh, put the a chain, anchor, and rope. Um, and then right on the top, I throw the casting net. So, but this is a nice uh, uh, bucket where you can keep. Uh, like I say, the personal items or the, the anchoring chain and rope. Now, right under this and around the bucket, you have storage compartment where you can put your fender, your duck lines, or, or throw a couple uh, life jackets on it. Now, the lean post on the Robalo 160, definitely you guys are gonna love it. Check this out. If you fishing or drink a cup of wine by the dock, you can flip the seat and look backward. This is a really nice, nice detail. It's beefy, beefy cushions. It's, it, it feel the comfort on it. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's the right way to do it. Now, this lean post is one of the three insulate compartments on this Robalo 160. Again, this is a 16 footer. A 16 footer with three insulated compartments Come on, man. Rounder, you have an access to a cooler. Then, 
uh, when I talk about three insulated compartments, right in front of the console, you have the light well, or can be your cooler too. And then in the bow, it's another insulated compartment. It can be your fish box, or can be used as a cooler too. Now, if you flip the lip post this way, you and your uh, half mate can sit right next to each other and then uh, you have an access on the console to the, in this case, the Garmin GPS. This is the Clarion Bluetooth stereo system. Um, if you download the app, you're probably never gonna uh, use this unit. You can control your music from, uh, from your personal device. Now, right on the top, you have these uh, little compartments where you can throw your phone and then uh, keep you keys, so wallet, and, and all those uh, personal items. Right on the right side, you have an access to all the switches and all the electronics in the Revalo 160. Uh, something what I want you guys notice is many other companies, they hide the way how they build boats, but in the Revalo 160, you can see the quality on it. Fuses. I hate replay fuses. Many companies, they put the fuses in the back and sometimes you have to be hunting for them. In this case, Robalo use secret breakers. So if one of the electronics go wrong, you easily reset the fuse from the dash. Now, uh, two stainless steel cup holders and uh, always a uh, handy handrail on the uh, starboard side. Then this one right here is your auxiliary input. That is in case if you want to play your music by the auxiliary cable. Now the way how you recharge all your uh, personal uh, uh, devices is by the cigarette lighter right here. Um, about that, I have a couple customers ask me why we uh, Robalo they don't put the uh, USB charger right in the dash. Until today, and I've been here for many, many years, until today, I don't know anybody or a good company who's making uh, those USB chargers 100% waterproof. That's why Robalo decided, you know what, it doesn't make sense, we just don't want to put it right on a dash. If it's a bigger boat, they put it on a, on a dry compartment, but in this case, on the Robalo 160, they just provide you with the uh, cigarette lighter, what is, uh, is always really handy. Now, we keep walking to the front. Uh, on, right here in the console, on the Robalo 160, you have an access to the storage compartment right behind um, the backrest. Right here is a, it's a pretty good compartment where you can keep probably, you know, the USA Coastware kit, what it be a uh, couple life jackets, uh, flare kit, uh, and trail cushion or some more. I was talking about the three installed compartments. This is, this is, will be the number two. What is the light well? Um, this, uh, you can keep your bait alive, or you can just uh, put the plug on it, and fill that uh, compartment with ice, and it's, it's really nice to keep uh, you uh, catch alive or keep your drinks. Now, this is something what I like about the Wallow 160, the roll holders. They have three roll holders on each side of the, con the front part of the console. So, it, it, it's really good when you driving your boat and you want to keep all your fishing gear already on it. Now, this part right here, my friends, unbelievable. This right here is a nice insulate compartment. Really well. Uh, uh, this is the 160 with the 70 Yamaha on it. Again, this is a 2018 model. If you want more information about this boat, uh, please give us a call at 843-216-4700. You can check this boat on our web and longshoreboats.com. If you have any questions, just uh, send me an email at hector.longshoreboats.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.